Welcome back to another RSD tutorial. My name is Matt. I'm one of the designers here at Red Shark. Today we're going to be looking at the Shape Builder tool in Adobe Illustrator. It's got some pretty neat functions and can be useful when subtracting shapes or adding them together. So without further ado, let's hop right into the program and take a look. Also, if you're interested in following along with me during this tutorial, make sure you check out the blog in the description and download the working file. It'll be set up the exact same way you see here. Okay, so I've got my Adobe Illustrator Shape Builder tutorial file here open. Uh, if you'd like to follow along with this tutorial, this exact same file will be in the description. You'll find it in the blog download on our website. So if you'd like to follow along, go ahead and hop on that and open it up before we get started. Uh, this file is also laid out in a way that I'm highlighting each of its four main functions. Uh, the Shape Builder tool works similar to the Pathfinder tool, which we talked about before. Uh, it's useful for adding two shapes together, uh, taking two shapes away from each other, like subtracting them, erasing bits in between them, and even creating shapes out of, out of negative space between shapes. So to get right into it, we're going to start with merging, and I'll just go ahead and zoom in on this artboard and we can get going. So before we get going on number one, uh, merging here, I'd like to point out that the Shape Builder tool can be found here on your tool panel. Uh, you can also use the shortcut shift M as you see here highlighted to bring that up uh, and when you first do this if you have no shapes selected it's going to give you this uh, kind of you know warning saying that it can't be used on anything and you, no matter how hard you try you won't be able to do anything so what we're going to need to do is I'm going to hold command to pull up my selection tool again and use shift to click both of these overlapping shapes that I have here and you can see that when I let go of command and my Shape Builder tool comes back, it's now giving me this plus sign every time I scroll over something. So for this first merging, what we're gonna do is merge these two circles together. And as you can see, it's as I hover over these, it's showing me uh, the individual shapes that can be created by using this tool. But for this one, I'm just gonna take and click and drag from one through the middle and into the next one. And when I let go, it's all one shape. So now our two circles have become two uh, conjoined circles. Alright, moving on to extracting. Uh, for this one we're going to be subtracting that middle section in the uh, Venn, Venn diagram, if you will, of these two circles. Uh, it works the same way. What I'm going to do is make sure my Shape Builder tool is selected. I'm going to hold Command and Shift and select these two circles, or my two shapes that I want to uh, extract from. And all I'm going to do this time is come in here and click the shape that I want to get rid of, which would be this one. And then if I come back to my selection tool and double click in here, I can now select this shape on its own. I'll just hit delete. And when we come out of here, we're left with our circle with that piece missing out of it and the circle on the right with the middle piece missing out of it as well. And these are each their own shape, not conjoined. The third function for the Shape Builder tool is going to be erasing. Uh, let me make sure my tool is selected here. And I'm going to use Command Shift again to select both of these. For this one, we're going to use another key, key function. We're going to hold the Option or Alt key and then drag across the shapes that we want to get rid of. So I'm going to use, I'm going to get rid of the, all of the blue here. And I'll just do this while I'm holding Alt and dragging the Shape Builder tool. And when I let go, it deletes those. So now I'm left with just the one circle on the left with the middle piece missing and the rest of the blue circle. And for the last function we're going to be looking at creating. Uh, for this one we're going to be ignoring the shapes on the outside and we're going to create a shape with this negative space here in the middle. So let's for instance say that you have these you know four circles and they're all overlapping in some way. Uh, with those selected you're going to grab your shape tool, shape builder tool, and then just when you come over here in the middle, you see even though we don't have a shape here, it's given us these like half tone patterns in the middle saying that it can be a shape. And we, you can see it on the bottom half of that cursor, there's also a plus sign, which you know is indicated every time before this. So if we click this shape, it's going to fill it in. And then I can come in here with my selection tool and I can get rid of all these other circles. And we've made a shape from the negative space of the shapes that we had before, which is pretty interesting. Okay, so now that you know all four of the main functions of the Shape Builder tool, I'm just gonna show you a quick little 
uh, tidbit of a real life application per se. I'm gonna build a cloud out of some simple shapes here, just using a rectangle and some circles. Uh, I'll get this built and then we'll, sh we'll look at it together. Okay, so I have my simple shapes he built here. We have them in outlines just so that you can see that each one is its own shape. Uh, now that I wanna use the shape builder tool on them, I'm going to flip the stroke to the fill so that it looks more like it's an intended shape. Um, and you can see we have cloud here. But if I wanted to turn this into an icon or be able to download this as an SVG or an EPS and send to someone else, chances are they're not gonna want uh, a bunch of different shapes like this and it's not gonna make it easy on a screen printer or a vinyl cutter or pretty much any other application. So what we're gonna do is just select everything here. I'm gonna grab my shape builder tool and kind of just go willy nilly and drag between all these shapes and just make sure they're all connected. And as you drag, you'll be able to see that the halftone patterns from the shape that you're building carries over into the next and then the next and the next. So as soon as I let go of this uh, cursor now, this entire thing will be one solid shape. And we can come in here, you know, if you wanted to, you can change the uh, direction of your curves or, you know, move points around. We can even round these a bit more, it looks like, using our direct select tool. Uh, but the ultimate thing that I wanted to get a point, I get across here was that you can use the shape builder tool to turn simple shapes into more complex shapes. And this is extremely useful for logo design and iconography and stuff like that. So have fun using this uh, tool. It's probably one of my favorites. And like I said, it, it's up there with Pathfinder, but uh, each have their own you know, uh, unique functions that come in handy. If you found this tutorial helpful, please leave us a like and consider subscribing. It helps us out a bunch here. Follow us on Instagram for more tips and tricks and subscribe to our newsletter for all things RSD. As always, I'll see you in the next one and thank you for watching.